everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a 10 minute HIIT cardio and strength training workout. I do this workout once a week, every Wednesday morning, and this is going to be the layout of the workout. So we're going to be doing two moves for 50 seconds, then we're going to take a water break for 10 seconds, and we will be repeating this workout twice. So these are going to be the first two moves we're doing. So first we will be doing push-ups for 50 seconds, then we will be doing mountain climbers for 50 seconds, and then we will be taking our water break. Just want to get down on your mat or outside like I am doing and we begin. So as you can see the timer is up above. We will be doing this for 50 seconds. Feel free to do whatever kind of push-ups you want to do. If you want to do some on your toes like I'm doing, great. If you want to do them all on your knees, that's great. But one thing I want you to do is give it your all and don't give up. As you can see, I take little breaks here and there because I am doing them on my toes. And I'm trying to really challenge myself. But just keep in mind the reason why HIIT workouts work so well is because they are basically like longer workouts all condensed in a short amount of time because we are getting our heart rate up super fast without taking a lot of breaks. So just keep that in mind that you really want to push yourself, challenge yourself, and give it your all. seconds so now I want you to get in mountain climber position and get going with those mountain climbers work that booty you are going to feel mountain climbers in your legs your booty you're going to feel it in your abs this is a great lower body workout one of my favorite workouts to do Awesome work guys, we are at 25 seconds. We are halfway there, only 25 more to go. You guys got this, keep it up, keep pushing. I know it gets super tired after doing those push-ups, but that is the point. This is a nice short workout, but trust me, you'll feel it. Okay, so now I want you to take a water break and notice the next moves we are going to be doing. So we're going to be doing a squat track followed by high knee runs. So let's get started. So the first thing is what I want you to do for the squat track. We're going to lunge, then I want you to lunge in the opposite direction, and then we are going to be doing a center squat. And that's it. I know, easy, right? <laughs> so lunge. Come on guys, we gotta work on those summer legs. We all wanna wear those short shorts, right? Oh yeah, everyone spank that booty. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the booty, I guess we'll say. So now we are running into, like what I did there, pun intended. We are running into some high knee runs. Get those knees up there. And one thing that I kind of find a little helpful is holding your boobs. Yeah, I find that super helpful. No, is changing direction. So sometimes I'll run in the center. Sometimes I'll turn to the side. I'm just trying to run up the clock and kind of keep myself kind of keep runs off of my mind, you know, really distract myself. We are almost done, so hang in there, give it your all, don't give up, our water break is so soon! We did it, yes. Okay, so the first move we're going to be doing is a funky jumping jack followed by some lunges. I know you guys love lunges. Okay, so starting with that funky jack. So my arms are going open and closed with my legs and as you can see, I am changing which foot is going first. It's just alternating. You can do this if you want. If you wanna just do a traditional jumping jack, then feel free. But this is great. You're really gonna feel this in your inner thighs because our legs are crossing and then you're going to be working the arms as well. So it's a really dynamic move.
That timer is almost up. Are you guys ready? All right, let's jump into lunges. I'm really killing it with the puns today. <laughs> Look at that dog who just ran into our workout. He is so adorable. If you are feeling tired, if you're ready to give up, just look at that dog. Look at him wandering. I mean, he is a cutie pie. Anything to get your mind off of the lunges and just keep working if you just want to watch whatever it is he's doing. I think he's like, is he alone? I hope not. Okay, anyways. Oh no, there's his owner. Okay, back to the workout. You guys know my workouts are a little entertainment and a little bit of a workout and a little bit of fun. Okay, so that is the workout track. Those are our moves, and now we're going to be repeating the workout again. So, starting with those push ups, followed by mountain climbers. So as you guys see, I'm starting to get a little tired. I'm doing the rest of the push-ups on my knees rather than my toes. So feel free to take your substitutes. It's way better than giving up. I want you to finish this workout strong and just take any substitution that you have to to make that happen. It's the last time for those mountain climbers. I mean, how good does this rest of the track feel, right? It's the last time for all of these moves. We are at the home stretch. Are you feeling tired? Good, because so am I. So what I want you to do is think of something else. We are a team and we're here to finish out strong. Yes, good job guys. That track is done. So you guys know what's next. Squat track plus those high knee runs. So let's get it. You want to think of something awesome that's really going to keep you motivated to finish this track out strong and do this track once a week? Want to hear what it is? Summer bodies are made in the winter. Say it with me. Summer bodies. Say it out loud. Don't feel cheesy. Summer bodies are made in the winter. You are getting that head start on everyone else. And the last time, I repeat, the last time we have to do these awful high knee runs. Get those knees up there, finish this out strong. All right, babes, you know what's next. We got those funky jacks plus some lunges. So enjoy this break, enjoy this water, and let's get it.
you can really see it on my face. I'm like, ah, is it almost done? I'm just feeling like I'm gonna give up. I feel done. I feel like I worked hard enough, but no, we have to commit ourselves to the end of the workout. If you won't commit yourself, if you won't hold yourself accountable, then we never will. So we have to do this. So now that those are done, let's jump into those lunges. This is really what's going to sculpt those legs, guys. This is just as effective as doing something with a lot of weight because we are using the weight of our own body to sculpt and jump into this move. about this move is it's our last move in this workout track once you are done with this we are all done you made it to the home stretch I am so proud of you and 50 seconds all done thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye